Guten Tag Wastelanders! Fashnacht is live right now and that means the Fashnacht Parade event is happening. If you're looking to just know quickly how to get the masks, then all you need to do is head to Helvetia, located south of Vault 76, and complete the Fashnacht Parade event. Complete the event successfully and you'll be rewarded with a mask. That's the simple answer to it all, but the event can get a little crazy, so for those of you who want to know more, stick around. Before I do head fully into things, I want to thank Steeltown Eric for letting me know this event had begun. It was dropped somewhat stealthily earlier today, and I wouldn't have even known it was live if he hadn't dropped me a message, telling me he was in the event. This was doubly helpful as the event doesn't always spawn, there's a bit of a time before it triggers again in a world, which meant everyone was server hopping in order to try and find a world where it was actually happening. For this reason, it also meant it took four or five times before I got to the event at the very start. In fact, the first time I joined the event, it was at the busiest point and I was completely overwhelmed. Enough jabbering for now though, let's talk about the event itself. To kick off this event, you need to speak to the Master of Ceremonies. He will then tell you to find five robots that need to join the parade. These robots are hiding away in the buildings around town and each has their own task they need to complete before they will join the parade itself. Each robot has a personalised task depending on their profession. For example, the beekeeper requires you to kill honey beasts that spawn, and the merry woodsman requires you to deposit 50 wood by the bonfire. There are more than five robots in the selection of what could spawn, meaning each time you do the event you could end up with a different robot and a different task. All the tasks are fairly straightforward on their own, just focus on doing one at a time and you can complete this stage easily enough. Don't do my mistake of trying to do everything at once and then panicking and screaming and crying yourself to sleep. There's likely to be a lot of people doing the event at the same time, so between you all it should be easy enough to get these five tasks done within the time limit. Once each robot gets their task completed, they will head towards the start of a parade, where the Master of Ceremonies begins the parade once all robots have switched to their mask variant. You then need to escort the robots around town, defending them from all manner of threats. These start off easy enough with just a few rad totes but then it progresses to super mutant suiciders, which can easily blow up the robots if you don't take them out as soon as they spawn in. In order to deal with these threats, I'd advise trying to get some good riflemen up on the roofs to pick off the mutants as soon as they appear. Eric and I did this, and it proved to be pretty effective at ensuring the robots all remained unharmed. Just so you know, you can complete the event with a few robots dead, but if they all die, game over. The final stage of the event has the robots head to the bonfire where they will be attacked by a final group of enemies. A small horde of insects and wolves appear from down the road, but there will also be a legendary mega sloth that appears by the trees. Make sure to get a shot or two in at this enemy in order to be able to loot from it a legendary item. Once these enemies are dead, the Master of Ceremonies will give a little chant, telling you to set the bonfire ablaze. Head over and hit the activate key, and the event will be complete! It seems a mask is a guaranteed reward, and you can also end up with a plan or recipe for a fastnacht themed camp item or foodstuff. I haven't tested out any of the camp items yet myself, but I will no doubt have a Fastnacht themed house by the time this video goes up. And that's really it for the event. It's only live for one week, so make sure you're jumping in and playing it as soon as you can if you want to get yourself a mask. Keep in mind you can also trade with other players to get a mask you don't have, especially if you end up getting doubles of masks you already own. I've got to start the edit on this now, so it's done for tonight. Oh wow, I'm reading this script and it's out of garbage at this point. I was watching Kato stream at the same time the event going on. I'm getting this done quickly so you all know about it, because this is limited time. Literally, one week from now, it's over. That's it. That is it. The 26th of the final day. You can't do it anymore, then. Do this event quickly. Now, now, now. I'll be covering survival mode next week when that drops, so make sure you subscribe to the channel in order to learn what's going on in the world of Fallout. If the video was handy for you, hit the like button, and if you're a really big fan of the channel, why not consider becoming a patron so I can keep doing this full time? As always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge out.